Good afternoon, everybody. I want to first of all welcome you to uh, City Hall. My name is Robert Sullivan, and I'm the uh, proud mayor of the city of Brock. And I want to recognize some of my uh, fellow elected officials, Councilor at Large, Rita Mendez, thank you, Councilor, for being here. Councilor Jeff Thompson, Councilor, thank you for being here. Councilor Shirley Azak, thank you, Councilor, for being here. And Councilor Jack Lally, I know, is, is en route. Uh, a lot of um, department heads are here as well, uh, and I want to thank uh, all of them for being here and spending some extra time today to honor a very heroic, special Brocktonian. I also want to recognize uh, Kennedy School Principal Joanne Camilo. Thank you, Principal, for being here. Um, there are other um, students from Kennedy that are here to show support. Um, I want to, of course, um, the, uh, the person that we're honoring today, Jaylene uh, Brandau, uh, is here. Uh, her sister, Jay Ma, is here. Uh, Jerison, her dad, and Marcelina, her mom. And uh, I think all of you know the story, or if you don't, um, we are here today to honor someone that saved lives. And the lives that were saved were none other than family members. And that's probably the best thing you could ever do, saving someone's lives. And um, she did it in a manner that was calm, collective, professional, and she's only in the fourth grade. So I wanted to just take a moment. I know her school recognized her the other day, but as um, the leader of the city, working with our other elected officials, we had to have you here today. I just spent some time um, with the Brandau family uh, to talk about um, what they like to do activities-wise. They both, uh, they all participate in karate. Um, they also like to play musical instruments and read. Um, favorite class is math, least favorite class is science. Um, loves the Kennedy School, loves the Kennedy School. So again, I wanted to just welcome them with open arms. All of you uh, are here today, but let's first just give a round of applause. So to be able to recognize someone so young, and I say this many times, the next generation, we're looking at the next generation, and through the acts of what Jaylene did, we're in good hands. We are in good hands. And thank God you acted quickly and swiftly. Uh, after she called 911, she went to the neighbor next door, and uh, what Marcelina just said is, the neighbors next door are like family on Menlo Street in Ward 3, like family. And that's a special thing, and that's what Brockton's about. So I wanted to just, uh, first of all, read a citation. Um, that we're going to give, and then my fellow elected officials from the City Council will come up as well. Um, they proudly are wearing their Brockton pens today, so thank you very much. But, um, Jaylene, I wanted to, come on up. Everybody, come on up. I wanted to give you this as just a, a reflection of uh, our gratitude and our thanks to you. Brockton City of Champions Mayor's Office, it's an official citation. Be it known that the mayor of Brockton hereby extends his congratulations to Jaylene Brandau in recognition of your heroic, brave, and courageous actions when you save the lives of your parents. Therefore, it gives me great pleasure to present this citation to you as a symbol of my appreciation. It's collectively all of our appreciations. It's duly signed today by myself, the mayor of Brockton, Robert F. Sullivan, this 10th day of November, 2021. Congratulations. She had said to me in my office, she's shy, but you know what, that's okay. That's okay to be shy. So we also just wanted to give you just a couple little um, thank you gifts, okay? So there's a couple thank you gifts from the city of Brockton to you for what you did. And now I'm gonna have all the city councilors please come up and I know collectively they have another little citation for you, okay? Thank you, Mayor. So on behalf of the city council, we'd like to present you with a citation as well. Um, so it says, be it known that the Brockton City Council hereby extends its congratulations to Jaylen Brando in recognition of her bravery and courage and be it further known that the City Council extends best wishes for continued success, that this citation be duly signed by the President of the Council and attested to and a copy thereof transmitted by the Clerk of the Council. It is signed by our um, Council President and then uh, by the Clerk and myself, but we present this to you from the full City Council, okay? We're very proud of you. We're proud of you 
doing, we're thinking very quickly and um, you know, you're a role model. You're a role model in, um, at the Kennedy School and in the city of Brockton. And um, I know somebody mentioned earlier that you're a shero, you know, instead of a hero, you're a shero and that I think that's a word we should uh, call you, you're a shero, okay? This is for you and this is for I just want to say thank you everyone and thanks everyone for the support. Um, it means a lot. Um, Jaylene was amazing and all the neighbors and everyone that support us. Thank you so much. Uh, even though I gave him a shout at the beginning, uh, Jack Lally is here, Council Lally is here. But again, I just want to thank you all for being here. Um, it's, it's, it's always special we can come together, right? And so to honor a true hero, uh, and I said this to her when we were in the office, we're called the City of Champions for a reason, and you're really a champion. So thank you. Best of luck with your math class, and you'll do great in science as well, right? So while well, I have everybody here, again, tomorrow is Veterans Day, and I know we have um, Counselor um, Thompson, who served in the Navy. Again, Dave Farrell, Marines. Uh, John Massey in my office, Marines. Uh, happy birthday, Marines, 246 years. But tomorrow, again, is Veterans Day Parade. Uh, we line up at 9.30 outside of the War Memorial. We will be unveiling the Purple Heart sign. We're a Purple Heart City designated now. Uh, so again, if you uh, have the ability, it's a day off, I understand that. If you have the ability to join us, please do. If you don't, the best thing you could do is thank a vet. So thank you for being here. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you.